Hi, it's Kyle Babcock here on Sports Report Radio on the phone. We've got a guy I met a few weeks ago with his parents. He made his Cubs debut tonight. Connor Menez, welcome to Sports Report Radio. Kyle, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Connor, what was it like? You know, we met a few weeks ago. We were down in, uh, with the Louisville Bats watching the I Cubs down there, and I know you had on that jersey for the Iowa Cubs, but what was it like for you tonight to make your Chicago Cubs debut, to go out there on the mound and have a good inning and, and, and basically had a, had a great time and made your debut with the Chicago Cubs? Oh, I mean, anytime you come out for the first time in the big league, of the season it's just always like an unreal experience lots of adrenaline pumping you're fired up um you want to make a good impression with the new team and especially it's it's the chicago cubs like um there's such a great baseball team such a great fan base like i'm so excited to be a part of this club i've had nothing but good stuff to say about this organization so i'm excited to keep it going keep it rolling and keep on getting some more wins for us cubbies Connor, I know there's a little special connection with the Chicago Cubs for you. Um, It was pretty cool tonight. We couldn't watch the game because we didn't have Apple TV, but we were listening to Pat Hughes on the radio. And and obviously, you know, I checked this out before, but um, why don't you tell our listeners your little special connection with your grandfather years and years ago with the Cubs? Yes. um, It was actually really kind of a cool story Um, when I got Rule 5 drafted by them this December uh, my grandpa called me and he's like that is so awesome that's so cool because when he was I think he said like 19 years old he also got rule five drafted um, by the Chicago Cubs as well so I mean it's just such a cool story like obviously my grandfather played for them and now I get to play for them I mean what what's better than that you know Boy, the iconic franchise, you know, comes together, links together, grandfather, grandson. Now, I met your folks. You know, the first question I asked you was, you know, before we got on the air to tape this interview, is have you talked to your folks tonight? Because I know how excited they were to see you in Iowa. But what did your folks think tonight making they, that, that debut with the Chicago Cubs? Oh, uh, you know, like, parents are so supportive, so proud. Like, I get those texts just saying we love you so much that was such a good outing good good first outing for you get get your feet wet and they're obviously just kept on telling me how proud they are they are of me and how much they love me so you know how just that goes with family just always being such a it's such a great support system um for the game and everything like that hey connor why don't you tell our fans or Cubs fans a little bit about you we can just say it quickly we'll finish up here real quick because hey it's late it's two yeah. it's 2 a.m east coast time but um obviously you're at west coast you're out in arizona you're kind of a west coast guy but uh, why don't you tell our fans a little bit of about you kind of um where you came from and and, and kind of your little background here besides obviously the the special connection your grandpa and you with the cubs yeah absolutely um i grew up in california more of kind of central california kind of was all over northern california a little bit but i kind of call hollister california my home i was born actually in Lakeview, Oregon, when we first lived out there. We lived out in the top right corner of California, but I went to high school in Hollister, about an hour south of San Jose, if anyone knows where that's at. Um, Went to high school there, and to skip forward, I went to college, I went to the Masters University. It's a small NAI school in Southern California. Um, Got drafted out of there my junior year to the Giants, and I've been with the Giants. I was with the Giants for that five years, and then the six year, um, the, the Cubs picked me up, um, and I made my debut in 2019 with the Giants as a starter, and then bounced back to the bullpen in 2020, 2021, and now here in the bullpen with the Cubs, and I'm excited, you know. Connor, just kind of, what a great story, man. What a great story. You know, yeah. I I knew instantly I liked you when I saw, you know, you and talking to your mom and dad when we were down there in Louisville a few weeks ago and, and saw you, and I just... I'm just so happy for you. I'm happy for your whole family and what a great family that you have. And I'm, you know, we look forward to following you along the way. And, you know, it's, it's just really cool to see, you know, success stories like this and, you know, coming to a new team and obviously had to be tough, you know, from being all that time with, you know, with, with San Francisco, but Hey, you're with the Chicago Cubs, Grand, grandpa's Cubs. How's that? So what, what do you think of that? Oh. 
you can't beat it, you know, like there's, there's family with this team. It's such a great organization. I mean, they've treated me nothing, but I have nothing but good things to say about this organization. And I just can't, I can't wait to keep on going out there and helping us win more games. And um, yeah, I'm excited for the rest of this season. Connor, thank you so much for being on. Thank you so much, buddy. Take care.